let's go and see how Twitter reacted to the game last night. Bit of brilliant stuff in the North London derby. Look, look, I just love this filter from Arteta, him crying. It's a brilliant filter. You've seen that crying filter. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. They just put it on Arteta. This is the, one of the funniest things I've seen. I, can't, I literally can't get enough of it. But the brilliant. thing is, is it, is it even a filter? I can't tell. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't even know. Um, that, um, that was Harry Kane yesterday saying that was for you, Spurs fans. Great picture with him and Son flying through the air. Absolutely. Iconic picture. Really, uh, There's so many iconic pi uh, pictures from yesterday. And we've with... got all of them. Oh, well, uh, oh, no spoilers, then. No spoilers. Um, um, obviously, these are the Conte quotes which you saw just uh, after the, just before on his press conference, saying he complains a lot. He has a lot. Or he has to focus on his work and continue to and continue to work because he's very good. To hear someone complain all the time is not so good. At Liverpool, do you hear me complain about Fabinho? Uh, he can take my advice if he wants, but if not, I don't care. And he just <laughs> complains so much. He doesn't stop whining, Arteta, especially again about. Uh, decisions which probably were right. It felt like he was trying to go uh, full on Jose Mourinho yesterday in his press conference. So if I, I speak, I, I, I will can, be I in cannot trouble. Speak. You're not Mourinho, <laughs> mate. Don't even try it. Uh, not only is he not Mourinho, but he's only been managing for two years. Yeah, I know. The guy needs to really be humbled, man. Proper. He's so arrogant. Tottenham Hotspur tweeting out saying, worth the wait, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. It definitely was it definitely worth was. the wait. We, we were ready in January and we are ready again in May. Spurs express a Ryan Session with two consecutive formidable defensive displays against two opponents in Saka and Salah. Really stepped up when needed most. I thought, yeah, I completely agree with that. I think yeah. he did, think he did well. Session was brilliant yesterday. Uh, there's Gary Neville saying, this is the best atmosphere I've heard all season without a doubt. Job done, Spurs fans. Loud Come and on. proud. Um, and Conte as well saying, tonight uh, we scored two goals and our fans scored one goal. Yeah. Absolutely uh, spot on. Um there's now a Cessnion Penitentiary. <laughs> I love that. The Cessnion Penitentiary. Welcome, Saka. Well, Salah's already there <laughs> sitting and waiting. Uh, absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, this was the TIFO yesterday going up. I thought it was absolutely uh, brilliant. Let me get out there. There you go. Absolutely fantastic stuff. It looked, it looked great uh, before the game. Really and it did. really added to the occasion. Yeah, it really so did. So it did a good job. Uh, Do you think that stuff like that should be happening um, weekly or do you think it's good that it only happens at like I think really it might get games? a bit boring if you do it weekly I mean I mean I'd like to do it for all the big games like all the real like yeah I think that because it gives a sense of occasion you know what I mean like like on Sunday like I think we should do it I yeah, think it's a big Sunday occasion. we're not doing it. I know we're doing this flag. Uh, yeah, good. So it's something. That's thing. good. So it's yeah, definitely yeah. something happening. And I some of the flags on show, by the way, I've seen all the flags that are going to be shown. Yeah. Some of the flags on show are brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Do the um, do Dortmund do it every game a TIFO or do they? Is it no, every I game? don't think they do a TIFO do every game, but they do they? flags and stuff yeah, like yeah, that every game. game. Yeah, which would make it more atmospheric. 100%. No, but I think I think the plan is to do that to do flags every game from now on. Every game. I think so. That's the plan. Good. All right. Let's see how it works. That's good because I think. The stadium needs a bit more energy in it, and I think yes, they prove what what how what is possible when there is energy. Yeah, because because I think like sometimes in in the Premier League these days, it's actually understated how much of a impact the fans can have. Well, home advantage we've we've seen it with Tottenham so much, haven't mm -hmm. we? We said it before the game. Uh, we uh, we usually win the home game. They you they win the away game. That's why home advantage means so much. Mm -hmm. um, and also, what I want to have to say as well, the acoustics is really starting to show now when when the, when it's the, the crowd's in full voice. You know that acu the, the way Levy designed the stadium so, for the acoustics. Yeah. Yeah, and really? it's uh, spot yeah, on, I'm spot saying. on. And also, um, I was chatting to Graham uh, yesterday in the pub, and he said the guy next to him had a had a decibel um, counter on his phone. Oh yeah, and he was managing that. He was looking at the decibel levels in the stadium. I can't remember the number he said. I think he said like 130 or 140 or something, mm. which is level to a rock concert. Oh, wow, amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, just before you move on, actually, yep. we've got a comment here from Rez. Rez. Uh, yeah, and he says, guys, we need to set up a crowdfund for Ryan Sessegnon. Apparently, he's run out of pockets uh, to put the oppositions <laughs> in. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, brilliant from Rez. Um, another, this is Eric Dyer saying, special atmosphere. Let's bring the same energy on Sunday. And this is an iconic picture. Look at that Emerson holding uh, the mm. white flare. Absolutely brilliant. Unlike, Didn't uh, tuck it into the yeah, fans. Unlike though. Richarlison, not putting any fans in danger, just being being iconic um, and that also helped us uh, 
could probably give Emerson more plaudits yesterday because mm. that was a brilliant moment yeah. uh, from him. And the flares really added. Yeah, it was brilliant having those flares around. Um, Arsenal fa- um, this is from BLTHFC. Arsenal fans throwing their red flare onto the pitch at full time because they didn't have a goal to celebrate was my personal highlight <laughs> of the online. Yeah. It was like, what am I going to do with all these flares? <laughs> yeah, no, after the game. I'm surprised they're only still there at full time, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Paul O'Keefe, big up to Paul. He says, Spurs bullied Arsenal tonight, who had a bright 15 minutes, then just lost their head. Spurs dominant from then on. Um, their only threat was Martinelli, I thought. For Spurs, Harry, Son, exceptional again. Dyer and Session very good. And Hoybier, one of his best games, building blocks. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not sure maybe if it was one of his best games, but I did think he was absolutely brilliant and he's been brilliant for the last month and, or so. And Charlie Eccleshell was saying that he thought yesterday was akin to um, a, a big brother, like toying with his little brother yesterday. That's, <laughs> That's what I say. It was game. men against boys yesterday. It really was. Definitely a like, mentality point of yeah. view. Um, here's Session again in his penitentiary. He's got Sterling added to it as well <laughs> on a leash. Brilliant <laughs> stuff. Um, another brilliant, another iconic picture. Happy to be back on the pitch from Sanchez. Look at that, just covered with the blue flag. That looks like something out of FIFA or something. Yeah, it looks know? like it's been Photoshopped, but yeah. that, was, that was just how it was yesterday. It was absolutely, fan- it was absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, uh, this is what Arsenal fans and Arteta are complaining about. This is the foul from holding. I don't, look at that. I don't know, from this view, how can anyone say complain about that i'm sorry it's just a blatant Surprise, card. son doesn't have like a black eye or something no, from no, that it's blatant blatant yellow card i'm sorry that's just blatant what what can anyone say about it yeah. anyway um ryan madden says i thought saka well i thought saka was fit tonight the man was pocketed by sessa and did nothing arsenal put videos out for for odegaard who was hiding in a Poibier's pocket Mar- martinelli got subbed after fa- failing against emerson gabriel was so bullied by king kane he lost a hamstring and i'm sorry yeah after all the talk that we had to go through before this game about saka and yeah, you know hey. nobody denies that he's a good player i completely agree that he's a good player but i think yesterday proved how overrated these Arsenal fans are rating him. Yeah, I mean, he's look, he's a good player, but he's, he's you know, he's Kulusevski is definitely in the conversation of being better than him. I think Kulusevski did more than him yesterday, to yeah, be fair. Did. So, look, Sa- I can't believe Saka's up for player of the year, to be honest. I, I mean, know, I, I, I thought it was a bit ridiculous. He's had a great season, but... He should be up for young player of the yeah, year. Yeah, young maybe. player of the year. Don't Not know, player of the year. Another view of uh, Emerson holding up the, the white flare. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic with the uh, players huddled around him. Um, this was Xhaka before the game so saying uh, uh, he was asked what was going to happen in the North London derby he says we don't speak we do it yeah and yeah yeah I Xhaka. actually saved this video to make a meme uh, and I completely mm. forgot about that so thanks for reminding me there you go meme, watch out yeah. for that later because uh, Twitter's going to be on fire with that uh, Arsenal today the guy of, of screw, <laughs> crashing their own bike saying effing refs <laughs> <laughs> brilliant <laughs> Idiots. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Um, there's, uh, was that Marlon? Yeah, that Marlon was, bring, um, bring him out after the game. He photobombed our instant match reaction. He took the screenshot from it. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely love that. <laughs> Arsenal fans, whenever they're losing a game, hit, blame the ref. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. Yeah. It's so true. I, they, I don't know how they could. They can only blame themselves. They can look. They have, I think they do have a, if they're going to say, look, you Spurs weren't better than us. We just shot ourselves in the foot. That's why you won the game. I think that's a fair thing to say. But to say, to blame the ref, mm. I think you can't blame the ref. It you was their own yourself. doing. Exactly, you blame yourself. Doing. It, was self, it was self-destruction. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, Human Son saying that win, this win really, really tastes nice. Big up, Sonny. Uh, Piers Morgan saying, Arteta can bone as much as he wants, but, he, but we bottled it tonight. And in a North London derby, that's unforgivable. Absolutely. Uh, in Ketty with one of the worst dives you'll see this season. Literally. No one. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible from Nketiah. Um, no, it's not how players think they're going to get away with stuff like that. In VAR times, because if there is a tiny little anything, if there's mm. even a hint of a touch, yeah, VAR true. can't overrule it. True. Um, Rob Holding, uh, Statman Dave with his stat, 33 minutes played, one, one of five ground jewels. He committed four fouls, got one red card, zero clearances and zero blocks and nightmare performance from Rob Holding. <laughs> not good, not good. <laughs> After all the praise he's had the last couple of games as exactly. well. Exactly. More passion from Son and Kane. Look at that. Look at that from Son. Look at that. A Son after every goal was like... Unbelievable going passion. full pelt, jumping he, all over players. I mean, the passion from Son last night yeah. was unmatched, man. He's so fully coised. Doesn't get more coised than that. Look at that. 
then Kane as well. Loving it. Loving life. Um, how nice of Tomoyasu to bow for Kulusevsky. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, There's just so many great pictures from last night. Cedric yesterday, 90 minutes played, no tackles, no interceptions, no blocks, no ground jewels won, no crosses, no dribbles, one penalty conceded. <laughs> Lovely, great, great. great. performance, Cedric. Um... There's troops not being happy with... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we have the sound, but he's uh, not being happy with Arsenal conceding. <laughs> um, uh, Conte on Arteta. In six months, I've listened to him complain a lot. Here, this one from Footy Limb says, as an Arsenal fan, this pains me to say it, but I don't think I've ever heard a better atmosphere in a Premier League game than last night. Yeah, the 12th exactly. man is a real thing. And 100%. that's from an Arsenal fan. 100%. Yeah, because Footy Limbs is a big account, yeah. Well, I was Fair speaking enough. to... Um you know, the chap that, that works opposite us, big Arsenal fan, goes home and away, and he was there last night. And uh, the first thing he said to me, he was like, look, whatever happened in the game last night, i got to give you guys credit because the atmosphere was absolutely insane. Yeah, it was. It was. And I'm so proud. That's the most proud I've, uh, I am about yesterday. It's the fans, 100%. Um, Joey says, I'm seeing almost no credit for Hoybier's performance last night. I thought he was easily mad at the match, apart from the goal scorers, broke up play super and uh, broke up play better superbly. Uh, sorry, by the way, on that troops thing before, um, that I like that video. And that video was um, him doing, I think, a kind of like watch along. Okay. And his wife, who's a Spurs fan, is like laughing at him in the background. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's getting pissed off at yeah. so, <laughs> so go watch that. It's, it's on our like tweets if you want to check that out. Um, Let's see what else is going on here. Uh, Premier League panel say Conte is again busting the myth that you have to use an aggressive high press for territorial dominance. An aggressive mid-block that results in turnovers of possession when the, op when the opponents pass the ball into the middle third can be just as effective. Arsenal have looked rattled. Yeah, exactly. They absolutely were rattled yesterday. Oscar Kittle, who won the tickets on oh, Big Pets, up. He says, had an amazing time. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Will Tottenham TV and OP Pets. Fantastic stuff. And what a game to have won exactly. tickets for. Unbelievable. I know, you I must know. have hit the absolute jackpot. Yeah, he uh, literally yesterday. did. Literally. Uh, human Son yesterday. More, more passionate from him. Absolute brilliant stuff. There's nothing like Son just being passionate. He's <laughs> I know. He's the best. I love him watch. So Look at much. that. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Which goal was that from? Must have been... I think that must be for the corner because I think he's going over to Ben Tankle who won the flick on. Must have been that. 2-0. Mm, yeah, it must have been the second. Yeah, look at that. Look at the passion. Wow, wow. <laughs> um, there's... Uh, we, um, Opta Joe says, with two goals against Arsenal last night, Harry Kane became the first player to score in eight consecutive Premier League seasons against a single opponent. Um, wow, so no one else has... So Harry Kane has a record against scoring against a single opponent every season. It just so happens to be Arsenal. That's amazing. The king of the North London derby. Amazing. That's what he is. That's that incredible. That's what he is. And, no know, one else has ever scored in eight consecutive seasons against one opponent. And he's done it against Arsenal. Unbelievable. That, show, that doesn't show you if he's a big game player. I don't know what does. Mm. Um, the, um, Harry Kane is saying after the game, I think it was the best atmosphere at the new stadium. We could feel it in the build-up. Yeah, and, and I that's think, exactly what I was saying, wasn't it? Yeah, hundred, yeah, hundred percent. Um, and then Patrick Tyrant, this content uh, creating podcast stuff is pretty cool. It allows us, allows you to connect with me, up people I probably would never have met or known if it wasn't for what I do. Yeah, big up and Patrick. Brilliant. Look, look, look at that after the, the game. Brilliant, brilliant. It was brilliant atmosphere after the game. So I didn't even mention that. After, yeah. Again, it was uh, after the win. Uh, in the stadium, it was rocking. It really was. Absolutely was really fantastic was. Like, If you thought that West Ham thing was good, <laughs> bloody hell. Yeah, that was, was something else. It was brilliant. There's a steward dancing after the game. <laughs> I love that with Dicko. Yeah, unbelievable stuff. <laughs> this is after the game um, in the concourse. Fantastic. Um, cheeky nutmeg by Kulusevsky on a granite jacket there. Lovely stuff. Um, and then I'll set to crying <laughs> in his interview. <laughs> Cry Teta. This is an edit. This is no filter, by the way. This is just this okay. is just our te <laughs> so good. These are no filters. Oh man, it's this so is our good. Teta crying. It's so good. <laughs> I could watch that all day. Literally like, inject that into my veins. Honestly, honestly it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> 
he, he was crying man i'm sorry he was absolutely <laughs> in tears uh, that's all from twitter let's i go. didn't i didn't see anything but someone was telling me that he was proper kicking off on the in the stadium after the game or something did you see anything or hear anything i heard something i haven't didn't see it yeah uh, i didn't see anything but i did hear um Let's see a bit from Reddit while we're here. Uh, AFTV on Suicide Watch. <laughs> on there, this is them on their watch along. No one, no happy faces there. Are and they? the funny thing is, was well, that Robbie and that and that woman that he's sitting next to. That woman was being like, "Yeah, let's all go down to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's walk all from Seven Sisters all the uh, from all to the high road." Yeah. yeah, and then she's not even there. She's in the watch along. Oh, well, Robbie was like, "I don't know if you want to do it." Yeah, <laughs> Robbie's like, uh, <laughs> "Taking your life in your own hands." <laughs> <laughs> don't want to run that gauntlet, look, mate. Um, this was uh, Decky just dominating Tommy Arsu physically twice, once there. And then he does it again here, just and bounces Tommy off Arsu's him. Supposed to be Bam! Quite physical as Look well. at that, and he just couldn't handle him. Um, you can't stay mad, uh, Son. So Son was a bit angry as soon as he saw Conte smiling. He couldn't help it. He couldn't help it. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, um, fantastic stuff. Look, you, um, there's that another lovely picture. There's Son after he scored his goal. Brilliant mm. stuff. Can't get enough of this content, to be honest. Uh, at Ramsdale before the North London derby, saying it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it definitely good was fun, fun for you, wasn't it, mate? Great definitely fun. Definitely was fun. Um, agents activated. <laughs> Trippier and Agent Trippier and Agent Delhi exactly. activated for the last two games. Exactly. Gonna, need a, gonna need a helping hand, that's for sure. Um, uh, and then uh, Hipspur says that's twice this season Arsenal failed to turn up to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You know, they've only scored one goal at, at the stadium in three games. That was that Lacazette goal. Yeah. In the that was the one completely behind closed doors when Toby scored the winner. Ah, okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, the last two games, even in the friendly preseason, they didn't yeah, score. All clean sheets. That's they, four they, they games, including a friendly, which you don't really count. But that's and they haven't kept a clean sheet against us in any game. Um, mm -hmm. We're barring eight games or something. So uh, long may it continue. Uh, right, hopefully we can, we can go a lifetime without them winning at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. All right, that's it for social media uh, for now. Um, but yeah, those that's what how social media reacted to the massive North London derby uh, yesterday. Yeah.